Hello once again, audience, and welcome to another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. And last episode, we beat the shit, or I mean, uh, t nice kind of beat the shit out of us. But, priorities, come on. What matters is we have a whole bunch of fruit now for some reason, and we are going to continue on the road again to see Lady Impa. Can't believe with the round road again. Up and down, I don't know what was this song. What are you doing? Okay. I will mount you in a non sexual way. And you can on my way. If I find another stable, I'll switch on reports for something else. Um, I don't want to use the same one the entire game. This is actually a pretty bad horse, if I'm being honest. But um, I thought it'd be good for first use. That is a bloopy. Okay. Oh, wait, is this a cave? God damn it, I keep getting distracted by things. Um blue rupee. Green rupee. What do you want, sir? What is, what is your damage? What's your damage? These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in the caves? Yes. What's up, bubble oh. frog? Oh god, these people's haircuts. Don't scare me like that. My heart poor heart can't take it. You have a chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Aha, I knew it. Must have asked you too. Supposedly, this creature's called bubble frogs. It lives in caves. They're bluish, whitish, and stick to walls. Ew, just like me. Odd ah. stuff. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden, curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for some for the bubble frog drops. They asked me to do the collecting. Did they ask you too? Ah. They offer treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That Trevor was awful appealing, though. Okay. So they're at some stable. I can probably talk to him again if I want to know what that stable was. And I'm... Well, actually, I should just ask him. Ah. Bull in Elden to the northeast. Ah. <laughs> okay. Woodland stable. This is Elden. Northeast. So I don't know. There's probably a stable that's, like, over here. Um, I'll worry about that later in the game. Actually, I will put a... Not, I'll put a different kind of thing there. I'll put one of these. I don't know. And then I'll worry about that later. There is a cave here. Discovery. The North Hyrule Plain Cave. Oh god, no. It's the Lee. I keep wanting to say Leavers. They are not Leavers. These are like likes for some reason. I don't know why they don't just call them Leavers. It's Just like the old ones, they knew what they were doing. And they made these creatures. Oh, and they just eat the stuff. Dude, that's a really cool creature. I'm sorry, no. Get away from me. Um. I'm gonna have Zora on the idol. Oh my god! Well, you know what this means. I'm really good at this game, so good that I'm gonna go outside and pretend I was never here. That's how good at this game I am. A quagmire that will draw you in. Sink in too deep and you'll be unable to escape. Yeah, but you can't really go underwater in this game, so I don't exactly know what that means, but... It's marked on my yep. map, so I know about this place. <laughs> I will come back in the future when <laughs> I have a bunch more of those bomb things. Oh, and there's a stable right here. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna switch out my... Whatchamacallit, switch on my horse then to someone, uh, just different. <laughs> Who are you? Oh wait, 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 hold on. Oh, this is the place with Lady Impa, okay. I'm gonna switch out my horse, talk to this guy, and then go to Lady Impa. Because I know what I'm doing. Alright. New serene stable, because it's, because it can't be a normal serene stable. Welcome to the new Serene Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one to your pony points. 
I get a reward. Oh, oh boy! Looks like you got some points saved up, Link. You want to get your reward? Step up to the side counter where I can pledge you. Then call me over. Uh -huh. Now, once again. Where do you want to bridge this horse or take you want to ride? I want to board my horse? Yes. Oh. Alright, we'll take care of Ophelia. Okay, I'll take uh -huh. um, BD Mold out. That sounds pretty... God damn it. Uh, wonderful, it's the end of the world. Uh -huh. Is it the end of the world? I don't even know. Take a horse. Uh, I actually no. I will take Doctor Who's out because he's super temperamental and he will probably throw me off. Thanks for waiting. Horse gets spooked or doesn't like where it's at. It might shut down or refuse to move at all. If that happens, slap its ass with a whip. All right. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'm. There's so much to do here. Still not used to this place. Hello, welcome to the Rito Stable. No, that's not right. I meant to new. I meant to say New Serene Stable. I just moved here from the Rito Stable. I keep saying the wrong name. Rito Stable. It's a stable much like this one, but it's in the front of the Rito Village, to the west of here. A bit of a cold snap. Shut it down though. The big cold snap it shut down though. I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. Keeper was always cold, but it's gotten really bad. If you go to Rito Village, you need to prepare for extreme weather. Oh, by the way, please take this. Spicy elixir, thank you. I don't need it anymore, so if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shot. Yep, okay. This guy's just reading his paper on the job. Let's see, what's in this issue of Lucky Clover Gazette? What's the news? Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Rito is facing a food shortage as cold winds make the travel to the village dangerous for resident visitors uh. like. That's awful. It sounds like it needs anyone to try to get to Rito Village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing weather. Uh. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Other stories. Blood moon rising. Sorry. You know, because... Never mind. Blood moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, readers. On the nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that have been uh. defeated. Ah, huh, that reminds me of the researcher who was studying the blood moon. They were all really excited to visit a monster fort and examine the relationship between the monsters and the blood moon. I hope they're doing okay. I don't know if they've been able to hold themselves in a fight. I'll leave you be on the john. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna go to the shrine, then talk to that guy, and then do a dog. There's way too much stuff to do here. Oh, Herb. The shrines in Breath of the Wild very clearly came out of the ground. This, did they fall from the sky? But, like, that doesn't make much sense. Did the sand appear as well? This is very much, like, much more, like, magical or ghostly. Okay, I'm really hoping this shrine isn't just me cheesing my way. An uplifting device. Because that's what it's felt like this entire time, and I don't want it to feel like that. I want it to be cool. Um, alrighty then. An uplifting device. Hot air balloons? Uh. Oh, you need a candle underneath them. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Can I put. Can I ride inside one of these? I know there's nothing inside. I cannot, no. Uh, what happens if I put a candle inside of them? Okay, they just rise up. That's not helpful for me, but... And that thing's gone. I can't get that now. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Um, so maybe I can create a platform with them. I have a torch. Okay. Um... have any weapon slots. I probably don't. A torch. Yes, I know that's what it is. Um. Oh, they also changed how this menu works, which is just annoying, to say the least. Not because it's actually annoying to remember, it, it's just annoying because it felt like there's no reason for them to change it. Okay. Uh, Traveler's Sword, Torch. Can I just hop in here and then go to the sky? 
awesome. That's so cool. Are there chests in here that I'm missing? I probably don't care because it probably has a terrible uh, weapon inside. But you take what you can get. Hold on, game. Well, these things happen. These things that take time. Okay. Um. So now, what is this door? Can't open that. And what triggers it? Um. This is so weird. The vibes, I mean. Oh, there's a button there. Okay. Um, I'll just set this here. I just set this here. Grab this. I said, and I can grab this. me excellent okay oh no what is this place now um 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 oh this place is huge oh no i don't want to use my brain i just want to beat the game okay Okay, we have a ball here, we have a hot air balloon there, we have a little ball here, is this a door? What is this? Okay, we have two more hot air balloons, okay. Yeah, so when the ball is in there, I'm just not allowed to move it. According to Oh, now I can. So it's when it's attached. Um, okay. um let's go to our torch. Sorry, weird thing. It's probably innocent. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Let's get up here. I don't know if this is intuitive. This is really weird. That's, I mean, I've said that a lot, but like, still, it is weird. Okay. I need to grab... Oh, how do I go about doing this? Should I just grab one of these and put it in there? Oh my god. I don't know how if I can beat this now. Crap. Oh, did it respawn this? Or was there two always? Okay, I'll be right back. We'll get back together. Okay. Now I need to get this ready. This takes quite a while, I will admit. Where's the ball? God damn it, where's the ball? Is it stuck up there in the ceiling now? No! How do I even get up there? Okay. God damn this. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, Ascend. 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 Yes, I can ascend. Okay. This is just... I know, I'm sure I went through a similar phase with Breath of the Wild where I was like constantly forgetting the powers I had available to me, but... This is just... I don't know how to feel about this. No, that didn't just fall down, did it? Okay, good. Just fall down ball.
Pew. Okay. What is this gonna open? Oh, it opens the exit. Okay. So then, what is this hole for? What, is, what does this lead to? Um, a chest. Is it worth it? Is it, though? I don't know if it's worth it. They knew what they were doing, putting the ball next to all these flames. Um, the issue I'm running into is I don't know how to do it, if, if I'm being honest. Um. This is so janky. I don't, I don't even understand what I'm doing. Okay, now if I light my torch and hop on there. This is so stupid. We have flight. This is so stupid. Oh my god. And I wonder like what the developer's intention for solving this was. Um I should have grabbed another one of those things so that I wouldn't have to worry about dying right here. But it's all okay. Will survive probably. Okay, now I need to grab Ultra Hand. Oh no, I hit the roof. Oh no, it's stuck in the middle. Oh no. Okay. And this is gonna very slowly fall down. That's okay. It gives me time to prepare. Was it? Okay, it's it's a got a bit of more of a kick, and I just screwed everything over because I set that on fire. Um, do I have any saves? Oh no. I don't. Okay, well, I just have to deal with the consequences of my actions. For doing that. Oh no, and now this is gonna be a pain to get back down. Okay. Um I have a different idea. How far can this go up? How far back in time can we do this? The balloons are all dead. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to get a lot more resources and reset the dungeon. God, this is gonna be a big time jump. All right, we are back and um, this is going very, very slow to say the least, but I'm much more happy with this design. I have a, a bunch more wood. We're making our way up very, very slowly. Um, once I get to the top, I will jump off, rewind it slightly. Well, I'll jump off, move the boulder off, put out the flames so it goes back to the ground, and then put the little ball on here, and then rinse and repeat. Um, which is very tedious on my part, but I actually really like this. This is really cool. Um, and this is basically, I just like bad piggies. Like, you have to build, uh, vehicles that solve the puzzles. And in bad piggies, you get to control them. And here, so far, well, actually, in bad piggies, the earlier puzzles, you don't really get to control them. Um, which is the same with this. I'm hoping the later puzzles, I have to, like, pilot the vehicles better -er -er, And then solve the puzzles that way. Because this is, I'm sorry, this is really cool. I also need to keep in mind when I take off the big ball, it is going to not weigh as much on the raft, so I'm sure it's going to fly up a lot faster. There's not much room to move around. Almost there. Alright. Now I need to... Yes. That should please stay there. Please stay there. Excellent. That's what you're supposed to do. Now let's see what I just wasted like half an hour of my life doing for some stupid ball that, or chest that isn't even. Open. Oh my God! This was for Opal. I want to hit my head against the wall. Okay. I'm just going to recall this. Well, actually, I'll just rip the flames off. That seems like an easier solution. And now instead of 
doing this smartly and like replating the frames, I'm just gonna recall. I hope it will work. If it doesn't, then God rest your soul. No. Okay. Oh no. Okay. It'll stay there for a little bit. Okay, let's get out of this hellhole. That was really fun to do, but, um... I'm leaving anyway. You can't stop. Let's just say this. I was going to talk to Impa, but I gotta pause it. I'll do that in the next, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Click annotation in the top right to watch the next video. If you see us during this video, bless your face. Peace off. Boop.